This is the housing that I made for my lead acid battery charger. I found this old Allen Bradley uh, control box. It was for an air condition. And what I did is I cut this hole in it. I mounted a small box fan. Put an on off switch. Over here is a power indicator, a red LED that comes on to let you know there's power to the transformer. There's also an internal fuse. I put a 10 amp fuse. It doesn't draw 10, it draws about, I think, 6 amps. Got a lot of current. Alright, so I got that. Three quarter inch Romex clamp. And what I did is I took out two knockouts. And the reason why I did that, the transformer is in the middle right here. This, when this fan comes on, it blows air out. And what it does, it sucks the air in through these two holes. And it cools the transformer as it goes through. And it passes the diodes. So it worked out perfectly. Let me turn it on and show you right here. Turn this on. Cooling fan is on nice, blowing hard. Feel a suction over by these holes. All right, there's a red one on. The red means there's power. The green means the voltage is over 13 volts on those clamps. Now, if you connect this to a battery that needs to be charged, the green light is gonna be off, and the green light will come on right around 13 volts. It'll, it, it's like a .10 volt range where it just starts to come on and then it's on. So once you see that LED on, you know the voltage of the battery is at 13. And you could pretty much unplug it by then, but I usually let it go just a little bit past. I could regulate that. I could make it come on at 13 and a half, but 13 is good. That's it.